Hello again. This is our fourth session of the staying at home interviews we have been doing with all our Merida ambassadors. Uh, obviously, over the last few days, we managed to hook up with Jose Hamida, Gunrida Dale Fletcher, and Tony Ferrero to get a few tips on how to tackle this crisis, what you can do in terms of training, and hear a couple of stories of what they've been recently been up to. Today, we are heading to a different part of the world, virtually at least. Today, we are in Switzerland. And we're hooking up with uh, Alba Aubert, our mountain bike adventurer, if you like, who is currently at home, unfortunately not on one, on one of his many trips. And we thought we're going to hook up with him to see what he's up to, what the situation is like in, in Switzerland, uh, and perhaps talk a little bit about his plans for this year. Anyway, welcome Alba. It's nice to have you with us virtually. Luckily, the tool of video conferencing allows us to do this at the moment and to share some of your experiences, your views, et cetera, and what it's all about in Switzerland with the audience. And uh, talking about this, um, Switzerland is perhaps not in the same situation as perhaps oh, Spain is clearly be with a more or less complete lockdown. What's the situ situation like in Switzerland at the moment with regards to being on your bike, going out, et cetera? Well, hi, Michael. Hi, everybody. So in Switzerland, so we are now free, uh, we can go out, we can have exercise, we need to choose something safe. Uh, the restriction is we need to be maximum five together okay. and all respect the distance of two meters. Right. And then be careful, uh, we meet all the people, just really not touch them, no touch nobody. And this is the main rule in Switzerland. We can continue our normal life, we can say, but, and mostly people continue to work also. So yeah. this is how in Switzerland. Okay, it's obviously very, very similar to, to uh, Norway in this particular case. And I believe um, with regards to the riding, as you said, you are allowed to go out as long as you're staying in small groups or up to five people, you said, and staying away from each other as much as possible. But also, I guess you probably have to stay ideally in the area you are based rather than traveling up and down the country. Yeah, so it's not forbidden. Mm -hmm. So you can travel in Switzerland, but it's really not recommended. And I don't really see the, the way to do it. So for me, I really stay at home. Uh, the last three weeks I was at home, even during the weekend with my girlfriend. So this is the main, the main thing, just stay at home stay near your home and for me also I'm I'm still riding but very differently so my home spot it's a bike jump trail and I'm no more riding the, the train now I'm more riding some easy trails to, to keep to also try some new setups but no more jump just ride safe yeah, I mean, as we can tell behind you, that's that, those, that's your home spot, isn't it? So I guess you are, you're in a very good position to have that near your house. So that's not bad. <laughs> oh no, but not, not bad. Oh. Uh, just moving. My dog is moving on the on the North Shore. Okay. But yeah, not really a trend because I put a lot of energy to make this trail with a group of uh, friends. Uh, we have a crew which is called Bike Attitude. Okay. So a lot of people say we have trains, but it's not only trains. We worked a lot to, to make it that possible. So it's, yeah, it doesn't come alone. And I guess this, this time, this time, as you said, you're, you're riding differently than you normally would. And obviously you're not traveling as much. And we're going to talk about your travels in a minute, but I guess because of that, you have more time perhaps on your hands to do all the little jobs perhaps that could be including trail building trail shaping which you might not get the chance during during a normal season but this is obviously a good time where you can do this yeah exactly usually april i'm still working on the trail but usually it's april and from end of september to december but now it's perfect timing to spend a lot of time and uh yeah it's great to i spend more time Building than riding, actually. Okay, so, yeah. that's good. Um, and then talking about your talking about your trips, and obviously, as we said, you are the little bit of a, a mountain bike adventurer. Normally, you go to the far corners of the world to ride your bike in places where people normally don't ride their bikes. Uh, I'm sure this this uh, the outbreak of the coronavirus must have had an impact on 
you're planning on perhaps some of the, tr the dates you had planned. Maybe if you can, and if they're not top secret, give us a couple of ideas of what you have planned for this year and maybe also let us know if, if they are, they are those trips can be moved along if they're, if they're going to be affected by the outbreak. So exactly now I needed to be in Filipina yeah. to, to one week a holiday uh, on the beach, but also to have uh, some scouting in the north of Filipina to see for further projects. So um, now it's cancelled. I needed to fly last Saturday, but this will be cancelled for this year. Yep. The next big project is in July, August. I'm still waiting to see if it's possible to do it. Yep. So we'll wait until middle of June. Now I'm still preparing the material, making some testing with uh, tents and sleeping bags material. Okay. And then uh, the next project will be September, October. So uh, it's a project in Scotland yeah. and another one out. It's a small hut. And I think normally this could be possible, but like nobody knows exactly how uh, uh, at the end of the year I'm still waiting. And it's not a really big problem because I'm, I'm used on adventure. You uh, always have some changes and you have to adapt. So. Uh, now it's exactly the, the good situation just to adapt and to find some other things to do. And I guess you, some of your things are obviously not completely set to a, to a particular date, like a, a big exhibition or a show, which always happens on a particular date. You are perhaps, perhaps have a little bit more flexibility. And as you said, you're, you're in, can, intending to come to the UK, to, uh, to Scotland, to ride some of the, I believe, the seven stains. You're going to have a good time. And hopefully for you, that's going to that's gonna work. Some good stuff up there. And obviously we've seen in the background a couple of minutes ago, your little, your little trail buddy, uh, and Manchas, who I believe is normally coming along to, actually I can see him in the back there, kind of trees. We always have, every time I see you either at the show or the, or the or an event we do together, he's always, always with you, it's nice to see, because we talked earlier about dogs. I've, I'm a big dog, a dog fan, and I've got two trail dogs who I take everywhere if I can. Um, so uh, he's obviously with you at the moment, um, but when you when you do your traveling, I believe when you travel with your mobile home, he's always with you. I guess when you're going flying abroad, you can't. So I'm assuming he's enjoying the extra time he has with you at the moment. Yeah, exactly. Oh, just oh, the background. You <laughs> <laughs> uh, he heard you he were talking about him. Yeah, yeah no, he, oh, he's uh, pretty happy because. I spent almost the whole week in the woods, yeah. so he's always out with me. And like you said, yeah, when I'm got a, to take a plane, he's staying at home. But usually, when I'm traveling on the camper, he's always with me. Yeah. With the seat for him. But now, now it's it's a good time for him for sure. And yeah. he, good weather in Switzerland, so it's perfect. He's chilling there on the yeah. control. <laughs> Looks very like chilled out, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> I think my dog, I mean, obviously, uh, my, my dogs are always with me because I work from home, luckily, but now my wife also is, is at home, working from home, which she normally doesn't. So they are probably thinking, this is, this is great, the weather is good, we're getting taken out for walks, everybody's at home all the time, this couldn't be better. So they're probably loving this, absolutely. Okay. Um, um, then what I obviously also talk to our other Merida ambassadors about, because I think for some people this is really, really important and you might have a, a couple of different ideas. Some of them, uh, some of our Merida fans are obviously really stuck at home. They don't have the ability to go out and ride your bike still outside like you have, like we still have in the UK. Have you got any kind of easy to follow tips and tricks perhaps how what they can do if they're, if they're really confined to their own house? to stay physically and perhaps mentally in shape? So probably two things. First one is probably to take a little more care of the, about the mechanic of the bike. Yeah. So it's time to, to try to change the pads of the disc brake to learn how to the chain and to put again the chain. So I really encourage you to do that. Yeah. Change the tap, the, the tube, some people who are, who are not but can do that yeah. so it's probably to, to try and to train yeah and the thing i think an important thing is to learn to to brave 
So it's good if people learn to graze only with the mouse, like, and after pr probably only with the nose. Yeah. And probably make it together. And it could be an easy example because a lot of people uh, we saw on Facebook and all the social media different proposal, but this is probably something different. Yeah. You can just learn how to breathe and to learn to breathe with the nose. Okay, because it brings more oxygen to your system. That's, that's the reason behind it, isn't it? Right. Okay, mm -hmm. that's good to know. I mean, as you said, it's easily, easily forgotten and uh, to do that perhaps. And as you said, as you said already earlier, this is uh, when you're talking about the mechanical, time, uh, mechanical side of bikes, this is a good time to perhaps teach yourself the odd thing and make sure that your bike, whenever we get the chance to go out again, is in, in tip top condition. So, so finally, what I also want to see if you have, again, for the people who are really maybe struggling with this a little bit more than perhaps uh, you do currently, if you have any sort of advice and any other sort of suggestions you might have which, uh, which are impacted by the coronavirus at the moment. So first, to respect the rules of the different country, depend where you live. Yeah. And if you are able to go out in Switzerland, really take care, make things that we are used, don't take any risks. The goal really, it's never, the, the goal is never to go to the hospital, but now it's really not an option. So really make it safe. It's probably not the best riding. I don't have the best riding. Not, but it's just to keep riding, but not take risk and uh, be safe and don't uh, don't take more people to the hospital. So I always have a big thinking for all the people who take risk for us. So all the people working on the food shops, working on the hospital. So uh, it's time to say to thank to all the people who are working for us and taking risks. So. I really appreciate that. I agree completely. This is this is not the time to be to go extreme and to to look out for each other. Um, stay at home if you can. Uh, ride your bike by all means if you're allowed. But as I said, take it easy and just do the bare minimum to stay fit and and uh, and mentally, uh, physically and mentally fit. But maybe maybe cut it short if you can. There will be a time again when we can all go uh, out and ride our bikes for hours and end without any restrictions. But the more we do now, the sooner this is gonna to come, to, uh, come to an end. And I couldn't agree more with what you just said. Alba is, is so staggering to see how many people still doing their jobs, because they have to, because they keep us going with regards to the health service, the people looking out for food, the police, and everybody else. So a big thanks to, to every, everybody who's in, involved in that line of work. It helps us to get through this. So that brings us to, our, to the end of our little um, interview, Avan. Uh, big, big and very warm thank you very much for taking the time out of your trail building schedule over there. Um, it's been nice to catch up. It's great to, for us to be able to do this, even in the time when we're not allowed to travel and don't really get the chance to, to do normally the event we do together. Obviously, we normally would see each other at our upcoming product launch, but obviously that's all been changed. So. Um, this is going to be it for a while. So, so thanks again for your for your interesting stories and comments. And we're going to have one more video coming up. So we we are going to head to Austria next to a virtual coffee break with our trial specialist Dominic Raab, which we're going to get to do uh, going to do in the next few days. So one more coming uh, of these little videos. Again, or once again, Alba, thank you very much, and we'll see you all soon. So, Thank you, take care and big hello to Dominic. Thank Bye. You.